All right, welcome back again to the CPT 2021 season final. Again, the first match that we're going to have here is Billy Date versus Jobby M from South Africa. And to help us learn more about that, let's go to F Word with the regional spotlight. Twenty twenty one saw new challengers enter the Capcom Pro Tour battle, but perhaps none more exciting than those hailing from the underrepresented region of South Africa. A region previously overlooked, now ready for its big debut. Two champions quickly emerged, showcasing their abilities in an epic first to ten on sets. Match point here. I think Billy's got to stay on the ground. Jarby and Billy Date would clash with Jarby getting the best of Billy Date just a week before the Capcom Pro Tour South Africa event. He was 3-0 down and then he ran away with this set. Call it luck. Call it fate, but the world will be blessed with the run back between these two fighters at the end of a competitive Capcom Pro Tour bracket. Billy Date being as hungry as ever with that McCauley pick. Billy Date would make a heroic run through winner's side, winning convincingly 3-0 over Sonny and Crazy Gun Jack. Jabby M on the Karen who looked like a monster. While Jabby M fought for his tournament life through losers with victories over Goba, Ren and Apollo. These two found themselves in battle once again. Jarby took the first set 3-0, something that you know his opponent must be used to. With the dominance that Jarby has in the region, it looked like everything was going back to normal. 3-0! The lead was erased in an instant. But after the bracket reset, Billy Date dug deep. This is what he prepared for, and he was ready to show the world exactly what he's capable of. Billy Date found retribution, defeating Jarby M 3-1 in the grand final reset and taking the win at the Capcom Pro Tour South Africa. Billy Date is your champion all the way from the loser's reset. Who would have thought it? And so we find ourselves at a crossroads. The two best players from their region destined to clash once again at the CPT 2021 season finals. Billy Date, the emerging champion from his region, and Jarby M, the rightful challenger, the former best, the most consistent. Who's gonna take it? This is Billy Date versus Jarby M, free. Cool, thanks a lot to F Word for providing that. It's gonna be cool to learn more about other regions as well. Uh, look, Billy Date versus Jobby M. As I said before, there is a bunch of history between these two. Uh, let's chat about it. So, on the right there, Baby David. <laughs> if you had to talk about some statistics here, some some background between these two, what would you say? Look, 10-5 Jobby M in sets. 3-0 Grand Finals reset. Billy came back in Grand Finals after that, 3-1. If that doesn't classify as I beat my demon, to get the whole thing? I don't know what is, but now we're in the season finals. They're neck and neck. They're trying to go at it. This is the last time they're gonna have to face to see who's truly the champion for South Africa. Listen, David, you I feel like you're giving too much credit to Billy up to this point. I think he's an amazing player, but right now they aren't fighting to see who's actually the best, who's dominant in the region. Because to me, you need to do it at least two times for it to count. Flukes do happen. I'm just saying, I, I hate know, to be the bad guy, and I love Billy. But as far as their background in general, first and foremost, I have to say, I absolutely love this region. A brand new addition to the Capcom Pro Tour. And one thing I'll bring up is the fact that because of the region being a smaller one, they actually often have to find their matches via um, Discord. Yeah. So they're actually a very tight-knit community down there. Not, uh, you know, there isn't all the complaining and salt and ranked like Americans not actually appreciating <laughs> what we have over here. So amazing region. I'm glad that they're having this spotlight. We're going to see if Billy has actually conquered his demon. Yeah, you know, now that you put it, you know, just uh, seeing that Jabi M and Billy Day, you know, they're playing in sets, and then Jabi M definitely had the the lead in the CPT, but Billy Day was able to pull through and was able to win the whole thing. So maybe we'll see something different from Jabi M because, you know, he definitely looked at his matches, reflected yeah. on it, and yeah. be like, okay, you know, I see what my habits were. What can I do better here? So he is definitely going to be able to apply this in the season finals and see if he can take the dub. Yeah, I mean, look, I'm just going to say it right now. Jabi M definitely has an advantage coming to this because in the wise words of Brian F., He's playing a character that does oh, all bro, the neutral don't, don't form. Yes, yeah. sir. Yes, sir. No, 
know, no, no, seriously though, seriously though. I mean, like when we saw the the grand finals of that event, Jobby M won the first set free. It was like 3-0. It looked like it was just going to be a domination, but you know, uh, obviously uh, Billy Date went through a bunch of different characters, Nikali, Zeku, but then I feel like the Ed kind of caught Jobby yeah, M yeah. a little right, off right. guard. But like you said. Not, that's not going to happen this time. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. uh, Jobby M's going to come here and completely know how to fight Ed. He's not going to, you know, get caught off guard at this point in time. So, if Billy Date can't figure out how to fight that, uh, if he can't figure out how to fight the Karin very well, Billy Date is plumb out of luck and will be raising the white flag. Did you? Was that an on purpose, like plumb? <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right, let's check in what's going on with the lounge. We do, in fact, not only have this up here with me right now, who are going to be providing analysis and commentary. We have a lot of other folks, thank goodness, as well. There you go. Hey. Taking a look at them, hanging out in the back. Yo, doesn't Saints Afro just kind of work with that, with the with the aesthetic? He's a good looking fellow. <laughs> like, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, the like, 70s type It of just works. Yeah, that's fresh. I like, I like it a lot. Yeah, look, James, you, you brought it up. I think that character selection here is a major part of this. And I'm not sure which way that's going to go. I mean, you're certainly right, Marine, that it's not going to be the case that neither one will come in having not game planned based on what happened. It's before. harder to game. So, you know, what's yeah. what 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 character choice do you go with in that kind of case? Say that you're somebody, I mean, for example, Just Kid, you yeah. are somebody who plays multiple characters in tournament. Yeah. How do you make that choice of which character to go with when you have already had results versus somebody and now you got to bring something new? I mean, honestly, prep time, like anyone, is like scary to like almost anyone like Rob can for sure vouch for this if anyone has press time and they know your characters inside and out you may not be able to counter pick Boy, don't you, you don't even it. know <laughs> <laughs> I'm just Rob saying TV, I ain't scared of no damn body but <laughs> if I was in Billy's shoes honestly I would just play the character that I reside my heart with mm. because they, this is the finals meaning that they know what you're gonna do and if they go deep delve and lab your character and everything. It's like, you can't pull secret tricks or anything. They may know them already. So it's like, why not? Why not just go with your uh, heart and soul? Well, look, we'll find out pretty soon what, in fact, they chose in terms of characters. Let's head over to the commentators again. We got Vicious and Tasty Steve ready to take the call. I believe it is now Dr. Evil, as Logan Sama has so eloquently put it on Twitter. But I'll tell you what, we have a very exciting match. Uh, you know, I think Just a Kid has a very valid point. When it comes to something like the finals, you would have to go with your heart and your best player because at this point, there's really no tricks you could hide. But at the same time, I'm kind of curious, how long did it take Billy Date to really come up with an Ed yeah. like that? Yeah. Who's to say he doesn't have another lab character? in the rafters, right? That's what, I saw all those guys out on the table talking about what character is going to be picked. I feel like that's the most important thing. Billy Data should definitely be his name. It should be Billy, Billy Data. Data. It should be Billy Data because I was watching him play. One of the things that I noticed is that he definitely liked to experiment in these sets. I feel like now it's going to be a lot more solidified coming in. Jabby M, on the other hand, has been the consistent, what my band F words yeah. say, a former, uh, the former Man. best here. But I think that's the wrong call. I think the fact is, is that this rivalry, this sets up an even bigger meta for the set that we're about to watch right here for the finals. It can't get any better. I'm happy that we're seeing this kind of celebration of the region. And one of the things that happened this year that Rob pointed out is that things did go kind of slow, but it made the Street Fighter richer in a lot of these regions because of how we got things set up here. But here we go. Jabby M. Billy Data going at it in the first of five set here to represent the region. Here we go. And you already see the biggest... The biggest change yep. right now, Javi M going mm -hmm. with the Chun Li pick against Nikali. Billy Date, of course, wrecking people with that Nikali Ooh. since his top 16. But Javi M with the Chun Li, who would have thought? You know, it's all about controlling the fundamentals. And this is exactly what I was mentioning before the fact that we don't know what character we're going to get Ooh. on either end. And this character controls the neutral a lot better than most. And I'm looking at the spread of characters as well. Oh, nice gets the jump out here and still fighting. Nice stomp, just the delayed and got the EX legs and the pick up in the corner this is not good it's not no over more. yet but guess for your life what and happened? that's the first round and look at how fast jabby m is playing this game especially with a character like chun li nikali is known for controlling the neutral and we're not seeing any of that in this first game it's just so difficult when you have someone like chun li who Whoa. controls the neutral better billy did going with a big counter poke from the fierce and a very immediate attack from jabby m knowing the sense of urgency that mm. billy Gate was under 
Okay, this is gonna be just fine. Does have the side switch from that anti air. This is where Jabiem gets to control Ooh. the neutral yet again. Up the here to the face. Punish. And the, the roundhouse. Oh. You cannot jump in front of his face EX like that. Stomp. EX spinning bird. This is exactly what I was talking about in these sets now. Look at how far ahead they're reading and playing this game. They're about two moves ahead on the set right now. Oof. And look at that. Jabiem is throwing out a lot of normals, but he does get caught with a low four. Billy Date now on the move with the V trigger. Currently harassing Jabi. But the fireball deters that offensive momentum for mm. throw now. Here comes all Jabi. Still Ooh, finding the time. Trade. Still trade. Oh there my it is. god, go straight to the CA. And this is a bad start to the first day in Dent, is what we're going to see right here. Jabby M. Jabby M looking so good that first game in the rebuttal from Billy Date is looking crisp. We're going in the first game, round number three. Let's go. That was 100% an expensive date. He spent all the bars all to the secure money. that round, which he had to, right? Chun Li doesn't look like she's trying to play around. She's trying to get that build, but she has a full critical art herself. That is what I wanted to see. I wanted to see the change up in the jump -ins. but here comes the throw from Billy Date trying to lock her down. No, just wake up, EX Lex. Why not? Ooh. It's not punishable. Catches the back dash, gets the crush. Here's the throw to start it up again. And they go back to play this Ooh. very, very important neutral game, and Nikali looking a lot stronger this time around. Oh, we see a little bit of calm before the storm. Billy Day trying to get these strings in, but still Jobby M finding these low fours most of the time. And speaking of low four, Jobby M does Ooh. get a counter in afterwards. The stomps to keep him plus, but now Billy Day in full control. The universal play mm -hmm. the mark. This is going to be huge. All right, this mix-up is going to be really important, but there's still plenty of meter on the Ooh, side of Jobby M. Oh, my God. Yo. Okay. Okay. Jabby M, you're in trouble. Billy Data bringing it back. Yo. I get it. When you put the name together up on the screen like that, it looks like Jab him, but we yeah, saw a Fierce right, instead. That right. was definitely a Fierce Confirm <laughs> into the trigger for the full critical art. Very well done. And either way, that's going to be a lot more pressure afterwards, right? I was going to say, man, Billy Date, you were looking so... It was looking back and forth right there. But Jabby M, I, I got to say right now, the explosions are already coming out. But this is what I meant, though. These guys are playing so much further ahead now. I feel like they're taking turns in advance, right? Instead of just waiting for that offensive or that defensive exchange, they're just going straight to the offensive of in some of these instances where you typically wait. And that's what you get from these rich matchups because these guys know so much about each other. Mm -hmm. And we're going to see how that changes up. I think Billy Date might change it to a different character early just to kind of experiment, which would be kind of optimal. Not optimal per se, but it would be a good idea, right? If, say, you want to keep an opponent on his toes, like, yeah, sure, I have a Nikali, I have a Zeku, I also have an Ed. I kind of want to run the opponent through the ringer. But it's going to be what Just a Kid said earlier. He's going to be playing with his tried and true. It's going to be Nikali for game two. Stick it to the Chun Li as well. Oof. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm digging to stick it to the same outfit, man, for this Chun Li. We won't get to see it as much. Yeah. Nice fight out here at this corner. And instantly checking oh, he still a ran lot into of it. I was waiting for that. I didn't know if Billy Dale had it in him to kind of jump over, but he ran into it anyway. Oh, that the jump in. And so many different entrances. With oh. Nikali to get in, there's the EX command throw. Oh, and once again, just stopping the dash up, checking with the low, using the EX to stop the momentum. Mm -hmm. And look at that, just swing it away. Double counter hits. There wasn't a full conversion because he didn't have that meter earlier, but now it's going to be a whole different story. Javi, I'm just needs one confirm or an EX legs. It would have been better with the confirm EX oh. uppercut. Billy Dave, not afraid. B shift. Gets out of danger. Needs to look for the size mo here. Right now, Billy Date, once again, these situations where the neutral is to be called out, Jabby M has been in some control so much, and it is not working out for this Nikali. Mm -hmm. Dive kick once again. We've seen a few chances where he's changed up that trajectory coming in on jumps. Cool. The roundhouse finding the mark with Jabby M still outside of that range. Back roundhouse to stop the dive kick. Changing it up completely to what the timing Billy Date wants to use when it comes to the airborne Ooh. approach, the fierce counter pokes. He tried to get a command grab afterwards. It's your time now. Mm. Still gets thrown. I can't believe he actually stole throw. his turn. Good anti air this time around. Using that back heavy kick. Wake up, light punch, DP. Wow. Is that a throw then? Did, did Javi M actually try to throw him? Oh, back nice anti air. Again. Stays on the same side. You're uh -oh. actually going to be taking a lot of damage. And more importantly, that corner positioning. Flash up and again, oh, big crush counter. God. Oh, yo, Billy Daytop back in the game right now. But needs this round, I feel like. Every round in the first of five counts because I feel like the longer it gets, you got a lot of games to bring it back. And if it gets down to that point where you feel like you can't, it's going to be hard. Right? These face cams, man, showing a lot of emotion up here. Both of these players out for blood. I mean, we see how much is on the line with 5K for both. Mm -hmm. I like Mostly the pride of the region. 
Oh, just slowing down the pace of this game right here. Oh, yes. Good interruption there from Jobby. The background house again! Billy Dane has not been able to get these airborne approaches. Yo, Jabby M getting a lot more consistent with these anti airs and still in control of the ground game. The there four minute punch finds its mark, and once again, Jabby M putting Billy Data on the ropes. This is not looking good so far. I love how in the players' lounge, they were kind of shaking their mm. heads two times Dang. over. Dang, we got double the trouble, huh? I like that. <laughs> but um, no, I mean, you could see the players kind of shaking their head when it came to Chun-Li. They're like, man, I can't believe he actually switched over. You went from Karen to Chun-Li. I look. You want to play auto neutral? <laughs> Look, you're, you're a Karen player, so you definitely playing as auto neutral. Yeah. Don't you, see? Oh, for sure. So you're I admitting to this. I, well, other players control the character way better than I do, but uh. I definitely don't use my brain when I play Karen. <laughs> I do, that's just me speaking personally. Punk does it different. Rob TV no, does it different. I'm true. a whole different breed of Karen. Player. Okay, okay. I don't like to use you're a little too wild. Okay, mm -hmm. well, I, I see. Well, the I like to enjoy my game without thinking too much. It's like sipping a glass of wine and just relaxing with the homies. It's oh, just my like, gosh. I'm going to throw out this low, medium, casually. First off, we all know, we all know Karen does get to play for free, but Chun-Li still has control of this neutral with a, a lot of good buttons, I feel like, especially when it comes to pacing. Nikali, a character we still don't typically get to see as much, but known, known to have that size mode for control and yes. really, really be able to control the pace that way. But we're not really seeing it as strong on that side now. No, not at all. I, I think right now, Jobby M has been, uh, you know, that transition from Karen to Chun-Li, I think it's not a difficult one, especially with the, the game strategy or the plays he wants to make, especially with the normals presented. Um, I will say for Billy Date, however, some of his stuff is a little outdated. It looks like he's been downloaded pretty significantly. Mm. There wasn't enough Round of the counter-poking game to help him out. When we talk about risk and reward, I don't think that Kali is the one to really get a big reward yeah, to after sure. some of these counter hits as often, right? The damage output, sure. The corner carry, Oh. Maybe, but it's not as consistent. Right? And, and we saw the V skill change right there. And as you can see right now, every time Nikali hits the ground, he's getting checked with a button at this point. And Jabby M really does have the matchup scouted, it seems. Look at how aggressive, how much he's harassing Billy Dayton this Nikali right now. Cool. Nice check, low four gets the activation right here. And that's going to be huge, right? Pushing to the corner already. But Jabby has done a great job of getting himself right out of there. Case in point, look at the V-Trigger activation too. We still have that on deck. Billy Gate still stuck in his triggers. Can't even get an opening just yet. That, that is an interruption. interruption. Push back to the corner. Whoa, there's a whip punish, and that's going to be that with the EX once again. How regularly Chun-Li has been using that to stop the momentum, especially from Nikali in the corner, has been amazing. Going to the so second game. Jobby M. But one time, okay, the anti-air is not available. Standing light kick, not as effective this patch or this season. And right now, you can see Nikali switching up that approach. Reset Ooh. throw right there, gets the crush counter sweep, and just lets him uh, walk out. Uh. Maybe afraid of that spinning bird, that EX. He's been being that quite a couple of times now, but also getting these throw baits in. Billy Date now changing up the offensive sequences just a little bit. Too much to handle for Jobby in the corner. Again, with the interruption off with the low light. Spinning a lot of meter right oh. there. Oh, wow. Don't what know what happening? that was. What a whip punish. Oh, my God. Okay, spins one more EX bar. Ooh. Wow. And, and just look, How small many? pauses. Small oh, pauses. No. And that's going to be it. Back at it again. Jabby M. Yo. How many interruptions did we see from Jabby M when it came to Billy Dave not did. having the meats, right? He did not have any of the meaties mm -hmm. ready. Mm -hmm. Instead, he just let Jabby M get some of these free wake up decisions. I mean, we saw, remember I was like, yo, he's waiting to try to call something out. Maybe he's afraid of that spinning, that EX on wake up, which you should be. You got to be able to successfully bait it out, though. It's a little hard with Nikali, but that's what Nikali does better. He's good at getting up close, forcing you to try to hit a button, getting to those big counter hits, and pushing you to the corner and forcing you to deal with it. If that never happens, if Chun Li controls the game you're never even going to see that part yeah. of the round if we ever see that kind of situation happen let's say he's trying to bait up the spinning bird kick say he does it he actually applies for the media if you do get hit by the spinning bird kick it's not even going to lead to that yeah, bad of a situation more. afterwards sure you take damage but is it better to take that in comparison to a low light into exactly. ex legs exactly yeah you gotta you gotta really think about it right billy date needs to sharpen it up at least in his offense and this is exactly what I was talking about with these sets. The further you go down this hole, we're looking at 3-0 right now for Billy Date, and he has to do something drastic if he wants to make a read to get back in the set. Oh, nice gets the crumple on the V scale too this time around. And don't slip on the floor like that. In Las Vegas, you kind of grind. <laughs> the wet floor sign. Oh, oh no! Baits out the dragon punch. The uh, EX at that. So now he's wasted one of his resources, took a lot of damage, and now you're stuck in the corner. Low forward activation. Are you, though? Are you stuck in this corner? Billy Day does get the opening off of the trigger. A big interruption from Jobby fighting right back. Billy Day has not been able to keep the gaps closed on offense. 
And look at the range he's controlling with Chun-Li as well. Oh, the backdash EX legs again. That should be it. How did he know, Steve? How did he know to backdash in that instance? Yo, Billy Date is going through it right now. And we're looking at the fourth The fourth game is in the bag for Jabby M. If he does not make a mistake, Billy Date needs to change it up now. I'm not trying to go to the fifth game, potentially having to deal with this. Lots of pokes. Just not letting the colleague get anything started. One of them is late for an appointment. Jabby M is just going through it. He's running the matches against Billy Date in free form. Okay, the anti-air anti wasn't there in time. Okay. Man, that B-Skill too. That walk speed really does cause a problem for this B-Skill. So the switch over, I'm not sure is what's the best thing to do. Yeah, mm. yeah and then what happens if he just walks up and walks up? Exactly. Chun-Li's walk speed, she got great buttons to reach, as you can see, with that medium kick. Okay, activate. This oh, guy just baits out the no. EX. It was not close enough to get a full confirm. Breaks the glass. This is not looking good. Fourth game might be in the bag, Jabby M. Oh boy. Oh, trade. Have I called it the too early? The under two. There was just so much space and time to react. Jobby M taking it against. How did Brian F get there? It was so fast <laughs> that uh, for Jobby M, even some of the players and the commentators just like, you know, this is not looking like a great deal for Billy Dayton. You saw the lounge just kind of sucked all the air out of the room. And just, you got everybody. I don't. Ugh, this is getting kind of greasy. But once again, this is why the five set is important. This is why I said those five games really are important. You got one game to run it back all the way. No more losses or it's game over. I mean, we'll see. I mean, I, I would love to see sort of a character switch. I would have loved to see it earlier. But at this point, I feel like it's the point of no return. I think you'd have to stick it out with Nikali. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't see a character switcher either. I mean, just think about the fact that you've already fought this guy enough to four get to this. Four straight, games dude. straight. You're going to change now? That's really not the We've route. We've done that in our sets. We're like, we, yeah, we lost four games. I'm, I'm going to switch it up this I'm going to switch it up this time. one time and hope yeah. for a rebuttal. But these guys know each other. They've played each other in tournament and out of tournament. And like they already pointed out, they've been aiming at each other to play. So I'm really, I'm really curious to see what the switch up is going to be, whether it's just strategy, whether it's a character. Mm -hmm. I'll bet you a roast beef and cheddar he's going to switch characters. Okay, deal. Roast beef and cheddar it is. On the line right now. Let's ah, go! God. What the? Let's go! Pay oh. that man his money. Oh, man. And roast beef and cheddar. Yeah, that was on stream. All right, I got to hold that. All right. Well, the Ed, another character we saw really change up the way the last set these guys played. Very true. Really did switch it up. So the character call out was very, very smart. Maybe he was waiting for this. Maybe he was setting it up for the big comeback. Mm -hmm. But again, like statistically, I don't know if this is advised. I feel like this is ill advised. Nah, don't nah. do this. But at the same time, Jobby M has uh, had a lot of downtime to figure out this character. Maybe he picked Chun-Li out the gate specifically for Ed, mm -hmm. right? I mean, look, I'm just saying, if I'm one of the Billy Data shareholders, I'm advising against this. We need to not, that would not told him to switch characters at all. Already in the corner, here's the activation, though. Ed I mean, definitely, be, it, Ed definitely has the opportunity to do a lot of big damage, though. No, you're not, you're not wrong, right? It could be a big brain play, forehead for forehead. You know, I, who knows? It's been working out since the last time they uh, they met. But I mean, as it stands right now, mm. Billy Day, I think we're, we're we're starting to see him put the pieces together. All right, these projectiles really are making a difference in this matchup. Oh, gets the cross up oh and delayed my. it, but still gets the throw reset. Wait a minute though, Jabby M still alive? Trigger on the table. Big activate right here. Oh, oh. no, this is not good. He's in line for a he could for chip, chip damage. Yeah, he could just chip him out. And oh, oh my, my god, god. <laughs> my, with a pixel, with a fingernail on the life bar. This is exactly what I'm talking fingernail about. Fingernail to the jugular. Oh, oh man. Oh no, choking it up. That's nothing, nothing on the life bar. And uh, this is why you don't wait to the last game to switch that character. You gotta believe. And we're seeing a little better adjustments here for like the Ed matchup, right? But. I feel like this is the character you should have saw a little early on in the set. To be fair, though, I think Billy Dayton had it in the bag. He did have one significant drop towards the end of first round, and it had to be, you know, Jobby taking the momentum away from him. But as it stands right now, that's the confidence booster that Jobby needed. You could see Billy Dayton kind of flustered from that last round, not being able to get as much in neutral as what he did earlier. He checks him with the crouching jab. He needs to finish his plate. He is getting some of these openings and just not making the most of it. I feel like that might just be something coming from the character switch, man. Still pretty early to the character switch. And something you want to build up to gets the throw. Oh, big Jeez. crush on the wake up. Okay. But CA on the side of Chun-Li. So you got to be careful and just you know outrange the low activation. You know he's going for it too. Billy Dade still taking to the skies. The anti-air still in full effect. Jobby M is looking for that one normal. 
to get into Trigger. He finds it off of a block either way. The counter hit, but still Jobby M does not convert. The jump out from Billy Dane is going to be huge too. Lots of trigger. You cannot take a hit right now. A confirm will take it for Jabby M. A confirm will seal the set for Jabby M. I think for both, really, because both are in V-Trigger. Billy Dave, if as soon, soon as he gets an opening, it'll be it. <gasps> Forward throw. Oh, oh my go god! Finally, the wake up EX! One more! Oh, he was not afraid of the EX to wake up with the jumps. Oh my no god! Oh, and the raw CA to take it, Jabby M. Just barely in range. Billy Dade almost brought it back, but you're too far and not soon enough. That's oh gonna God. be the set. Five. Oh. I was mad nervous when he came down with the lightning legs from the skies. I thought there wasn't gonna be enough recovery. Then I saw the critical art happen. What also happened was that it caught Billy Date mid dash. There was yeah, a recovery yeah. on the dash because there is a moment for Billy Date to EX uppercut through it. That was unfortunate. Really unfortunate coming, but really smart from Job M. He saw. He saw Billy Date moving forward. He capitalized on that moment and secured it five to zero. You know, you, you calling out that he might have been just prepared for the Ed and the entire time just, I mean. It now, just so happens that it covers the it just, you know, and But regardless, look at what it did for your game. Like you said, floating with the legs to get over the projectile really did set up what we saw come from that set. 5-0 will be the result. I would love to hear what the analysts have to say with that. Let's send it back out to Ultra David. Yeah, how about that? A 5-0 to start things out here <laughs> as Javi M takes it over Billy Date, who switches too late. Let's talk about it. Just a kid, what do you think? 5-0 <laughs> to start off the day. 5-0, I mean, look, we all thought we could have matches that will go 5 or 1-1, 2-2, one, 3-3, one, two, two, three, three, all that stuff, but no. 5-0, and then Jaheim picks Chun out of all characters. Like, we've seen him pick Karen all day and win, and then he just says, I got a chunt. What's good? And then Billy goes to Nikali and then switches to Ed, and the Ed wasn't even enough. Bro. And mm. it was like, oh my god, that that was, that, <laughs> I don't know what to say, w right. wicked he washed. It's, it was oh, a ball. Yeah. Like, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know who Jaheem is. It sounds like an early 2000s singer, but I'll tell you what, <laughs> Jaw B M and the 5-0, the 5-0, not the 50 piece, not the 50 cent. Use a window shopper, mad at me. Not like that. That's cold. But the main thing I don't understand, ladies and gentlemen, I promise you, I play Chun. That matchup is true. Ash for Nikali. Mm. It's actually horrendous. The normals are just too far. Nikali's normals are extremely stubby. I don't understand the thought process, but I, I'll tell you what. I feel like, you know, of course, the first match is a blind pick. Mm -hmm. But something that happens in tournaments sometimes, guys, you, you already know, is that even if you happen to play a bad matchup, if it ends up being close, remember that first game was actually very tight. So even though it's a bad matchup, that could have gave him some heart, some confidence. Maybe I can do this, but no. You, remember, you seen Punk's tier list. Nikali was in the pointless <laughs> category, and I completely <laughs> agree. Uh, it, it sucks. Much love to both of those champions. Congrats to Jobby M, but I do not like the matchup. You know, it was uh, not the best match, I gotta say. And to help wash that match <sighs> out of our mouths, let's take a tasty <laughs> bite of the replay provided by the Arby's Meaty Moment. Arby's, we have the meat. Yes, so it looks like we have uh, Billy Date and Javi N, and it was a clean 5 0. Uh, we see that he did pick the Nikali, and Rob mentioned that Nikali against Chun. Very, very bad matchup. And you see the Chun Li just wins throughout the whole thing. And man, it was definitely a wash, but hey, good matches to both of these two players. Yeah, I mean, one of the things that I think that's really important to point out is the mental aspect of this matchup right now. Because I feel like Billy Date knows he was kind of the underdog and he played like it because not only did he stick with the Nikali, I feel like longer than he should have, yeah. the V-Skill decision was Oh very, yeah, that was yeah. very yeah. dubious. Like V-Skill 1 is Nikali's way of keeping up with Chun-Li's normals. And yep, yep. You know, shout outs to the production. We've got the, the face cams up there. You yeah. can see how Javi was just like pumping his fist the entire time. And like I said, I feel like Billy was, you know, almost kind of, just dumbfounded most yeah. of the time, just wasn't sure where to go. I was gonna say, like, do you think that maybe like he picked Ed a little too late? Because oh, yeah. you know we oh, did yeah. see like changes between uh, the Ed and Chun matchup where um, Javi M was kind of playing a little more patient and yeah. just trying to like find things and trying to get around Ed, but 
No, it's it's scary <laughs> to get around Ed's vicinity because he could just do cycle upper and, or and just kind of deal like mess with you, you know? Yeah, so like I said, I mean, the thing, all the decisions that he made, going with Nikali, sticking with the Toulon, the weird V skill, picking Ed at the very end, to me signified a lot of nerves and a lot of uh, indecision. And um, on this kind of a stage, you know, that can happen for sure. And you know, one thing I want to make sure I add from a technical standpoint, when it comes to all characters in fighting games, there's something called win conditions. There's a general way that this character strategically, what you're trying to work to, a situation you're working to, to try to get most of your wins. With Nikali, you want to have CA. If you look at the way that uh, Billy played his Nikali, he used most of his meter on EX stomps, which just ended, uh, which just led to either minimal damage off of a shimmy or just just straight getting V reversal. So it's not really a great way to use your meter. When you look at uh, optimal Nikali play, I would say that usually it's gonna be V trigger, of course. And with that V trigger, you get a power up CA, low forward in the stomp, CA, you get Oki and everything. So not having CA is a rough spot. Yeah, I agree with James that uh, it seemed like there was a, a bit of a mental fog there that just mm -hmm. didn't quite allow him to move forward. Um, and you know, if you're somebody who is going outside and it's not foggy. It's right outside <laughs> where you're at. You're not wrong. And check out Game Gooder. Game Gooder knows that gamers go outside too. Channel your inner Chun Li and kick some style butt outside while enjoying fun, functional, fashionable, and affordable Gooder Sunnies that offer 100% UV protection and polarized lenses in a lightweight frame that won't slip or bounce. And of course, you know, Arby's is a proud sponsor of the Capcom Pro Tour 2021 season final. Be sure to visit Arby's.com to order ahead at participating locations. True fact, people think Arby stands for roast beef. It's actually founded by the Raffle Brothers, and that's where Arby comes from. Oh. And you know. And I know. <laughs> and I was I there. About Arby's. I was there. I was there. You know, uh, we have, we've been talking about Arby's for many years, so it's it's super awesome to be able to actually talk about it. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> all right, well, uh, look, Street Fighter Duel, the Capcom authorized mobile game, is now available for download in Taiwan, Hong Kong, and Macau. Other regions are also coming soon. Follow Ryu, Chun Li, and others to explore the mysterious organization, experience the classic stories with all your fighters, and recall your memories of the original Street Fighter. Counter, stun, combo, super! An impressive array of fighting elements and the innovative multiplayer combos offer you a new battle experience, challenging your strategy and control. A variety of PvP gameplay and tournament with in-game rewards will inspire you to fight. The Arcade Legends Reborn on the mobile. Download Street Fighter Duel now and join the journey with millions of players to find out who is the best fighter. All right, well, we have seen one match. We have a lot more left. Coming up next is going to be Travis Styles versus Panda. We'll be back with that in just a little bit.